All right, hello everybody. Um, I'm gonna do this video uh, today, throwing from the back again, okay? Um, and we're gonna be throwing on a bouncy surface table. We're gonna be using the all 410 set, okay? Which is six, the way I'm gonna set it is the 6-4 on top, hard 10 is looking at you, and of course the other side, you're or four so it's all four ten set okay we're going to use the Yuri grip with the backward rotation okay now um, I had a comment from a viewer who wants me to help him out with some bedding okay he's not real uh, good on bedding as far as pressing goes and then reducing back down and then even pressing back up possibly and then eventually pulling our bed out okay so that's what we're here for. We're here to show everybody that ain't comfortable doing something. We'll bring it out on a video and show you so you can review it and watch it up close and get comfortable with it. Because you got because bedding is is the number one important or it's the number two. Number one is throwing the dice. Number two is bedding. You gotta make money if you're throwing the dice. And like I said, you gotta have a game plan when you go into the casino. And part of that game plan is your betting scheme with your throwing scheme put together. You know, I only throw, like I said, seven to ten times. So I got to have a betting system that goes with it. Put them both together. You stick to it. That's how you become a winner. So anyway, he, we got 70. He wants to go 76 across, which I'm going to try this out too. I usually go 64 across, but I kind of like this. You're not really risking but 12 more dollars. And you're in a better situation on your six and eight. So I, I kind of like this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. So anyway, it's going eighteen dollars on the six and eight, ten dollars on everything else. Now in the game here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna press each unit one time when we hit it, get the quarters and thirty on the six and eight. Okay. And then our second hit, we're gonna reduce down to single unit. Okay. And then press back up from there. Alright, so let's get to throwing it. Hopefully we can throw about 15 times in this video. And uh, get enough inside numbers so we can do all that and kind of show them how, how it works. Okay, so that's going to be a 2. Well, we don't really want to hit the uh, horn number because we're not playing them. They don't do any good. I don't like horn numbers. I don't play. 95% uh, of the time, I play on a craft table. Uh, usually, we're in, or at least all the casinos around here, they don't open their craftless tables till night. And I don't play at night. I play in the mornings. So all they ever open up is the uh, craft tables. That's all I'm ever playing on is craft tables. So, and I don't play the horns in the middle. Uh, just a one-time dumb bet to me and I don't ever play it so horn numbers are useless to me man they're worthless and of course we're gonna hit nothing about them today and uh, I just don't like them okay so there's two horn numbers probably all we're gonna hit since I said that Okay, it's going to be an 8. Finally hit a good number. Alright, so that's going to be our point. We're going to take $3 of this 18, put it back on a rack, and we're going to use $15 back here behind our, uh, our pass line as our odds bet. Okay, it's going to be a 6. Okay, now, since our 8 ain't here, I'm not going to press them both up. I'm only going to press my 6. Most people just say press what you hit. Don't press other numbers with one, you know, like this 6 and start pressing other numbers up. So, 
We're going to press it up to 30. We're going to have 39. We're going to win 21 bucks off of this $18 bet. So it gives us a total of $39, okay? So we're going to press it up to 30. That's going to leave us $9 change. So the dealer is going to give us 9 bucks. All right. And we're going to throw this up here on our rack. $9. All right, so we're on our way, man, to winning some good money here. Okay, hopefully we get a chance to, to pull, I mean, to pull our bet, too. And that way the dealer or the casino gets none of our money. And uh, we win it all and get our money back. Okay, now when you're shooting something on a bouncy surface table from the back, you want to be strong to the wall, but you don't want to be bouncing over the table, okay? Because anything short, like around the pass line or in front of it, it's going to go one hop over the table, and you don't want to do that. So when you shoot from the back, you've got to be strong to the wall, okay? You've got to be a sharpshooter and get it within four inches or closer to the wall. All right, so this is going to be a four. All right, so now we're going to tell the dealer we're going to win $18 and we're going to have a $10 bet. So we're going to have a total of $28, okay? So we're going to tell the dealer we want to buy it at a quarter. So it's going to cost us $26. He's going to give us $2 change. So we're going to put that up on our rack. And he's going to put a, a little button on our, our quarter there that says buy on it. And what that does is it makes your, when you buy it, this makes your bet two to one. So that means if we hit that four again, we're going to win 50 bucks off that quarter. Because it's just two to one odds on it. Okay, that's a little bit too strong, but it's all right. We got an eight out of it. All right, that's going to be our point hit. It's hard eight. I'm going to move that dice over with my hand because I can't get it across that, my pad here. Alright, so going to get turn this off. We're going to win five bucks on our uh, our pass line. We're going to win 20 bucks off our odds bet. Okay, so now we're going to move our $18 back up here to eight. Okay, so that's going to be a four. Good hit. That's what we want, man. Boom. All right, so now we're going to win 50 bucks off of that. Because we're pulling our bet, we don't have to pay them another dollar. So we're going to say, you know, we're going to take our 50 bucks. All right, then we're going to tell the dealer, take our bet down to a nickel. All right. So he's going to put five bucks on that. And he's going to give us $20 change. All right. So that bet just became a $70 win. Beautiful. That's what building and reducing does, man. It gets you nice hits once you get it built up and, you know, you, you press and you reduce them back down. Combined with the reducing and what you made on the hit, it makes usually around 55 to 70 bucks off your hits. And, uh, you know, if you can do four or five of them, that adds up pretty quick, man. Get you some good money real fast. All right, so now we're on our come out throw again. Oops. Okay, so that's going to be a five. Uh, you know, I haven't been working my throws, but I'm, I mean, I think I'm going to work my next point. I just like working my throws, man. I just, you know, that's a dead throw. Uh, I don't like dead throw. That's just like throwing a horn number to me. It's just a dead throw. Um, I got control. I can I can work that and make money off of it. So 
From now on, I think I'm going to work the rest. If we hit any more points, I'm going to work them. Ah, too short, too short. All right, got 10. All right, beautiful. All right, so again, like our four we did, we're going to, we're going to buy this bet for a quarter. It's going to cost us $26. And we're going to get $2 change. So we're going to buy that, and he's going to put a little button that says buy on it. Now if we hit that 10 again, just like the 4, we're going to win $50 off that bet. Okay, by now you should have your throw down pack, man, by retaining... You know, so you take your time with your throw. You concentrate on every single throw. You know what your rotation speed is. You know your landing point. You know your height you're throwing it at. You've got to maintain those throws, okay? Now, do it too strong because I'm sitting there talking, but it's five, so it's okay. We hit our point, which is beautiful. Now I get to work it. All right, I'm going to move this dice over to two, and this one here is a three. All right, now, we hit our point, which was what, five? Yeah, okay, we forgot to move our bet back here. So anyway, we're gonna win $15 off our odds, five bucks off our pass line, okay, which is gonna be $20. I thought I'd take it out of the dealer money instead of my own money. Uh, that's fine. All right, so then we're going to move our $10 back up here on our five. All right, now, we're off bed. I'm going to work this come out throw because I work my come out throws. I don't take the day off, man. That's all that is is a day off. doesn't mean anything. It means that you gave, the dealer gave you a day off on your throw. I don't want the day off, man. I, I come in here to make money. So I work my come out throws. Okay, it's going to be a five, okay? This is why I work to come, all right? Now, we just hit it. Normally, that, that would have been nothing. I won $15 off it, or $14 off of that. So I'm going to press that up to a quarter, okay? Oops. Go down here. Give the dealer a dollar. So I won $14 off that bet. Had a $10 bet, so I made $24. So I hand the dealer a dollar, tell him to press it to a quarter. All right, now we're on. You know, I had a viewer comment me, and he said that, uh, you know, he believes in not, and I shouldn't work my come out throws because I'm risking too much. And, you know, I, after I fell over from reading that, you know, because it knocked me over, and so I, I, after I came to senses, my senses, you know, I thought, you got to be kidding me, right? You know, I mean, what do you risk on all your other throws? The same? You know, just because you don't work that come out throw, all right, that's fine. Say you don't work your come out throw. Okay, your next throw, you can throw a fucking seven right there and then. You risk everything. You lose your bet. What difference? What throw it is. Every throw is the same. Your come out throw is no different from any other throw. Period. When you work it. Okay, it's going to be a hard six. Alright, good. Now we get to reduce down again. Alright, so we're going to hit this six. Okay, we've got $30 on it, okay? So we're going to win $35 off that bet, okay? Then we're going to tell the dealer to take our bet down to $6, okay? Single unit bet, all right? So he's going to put 6 bucks on that. And then he's going to hand you $24. All right, now instead of doing it, I'm going to give you a dollar and just take a nickel. I don't want the one, all right? So there's our bet. 
We got 35, 45, 55, 59 dollars is what we want on that bet. Beautiful. All right, there you go. Okay, so that was a hard six. Let's mark that. But anyway, uh, back to the, you know, the viewer says you got, you're risking everything for nothing. Well, I'm not risking for nothing. It's no different than any other throw, man. So, work it comes, man. If, I mean, for people that are seasoned shooters, you should be doing it. I don't, if you're not, I don't understand why you're not. Because all you're doing is just taking the day off on that throw, and I don't take the day off. I didn't go in there to take the day off, man. Okay, so that's gonna be a 10, beautiful. That's what we want right there, people. All right, so, again, like we did the four, we're gonna win $50 off that throw, okay? Now, we're gonna tell the dealer to take our bet down to a, uh, to a nickel, all right? So, he's gonna give us $20 change, all right? Here's our bet. 50, 60, $70 we want on that throw. Beautiful. All right. Okay, we can do this a couple more times. We can pull our bet. You got the option to pull your bet at any time you want. Okay. And I'm, you know, getting antsy about doing that because I've already got about three hundred dollars or close to three hundred bucks in winning. And if I pull my bet, I'm probably going to win another $75. So that's a good chunk of money down there in my book. Okay, it's going to be a six. Okay, so here we go. We get to start pressing back up again. Okay, so we got six dollars there. We're going to tell the dealer, we're just one seven. So we're going to tell the dealer to press it up. So he's going to press it up to $12. Okay, and he's gonna give us a dollar. And uh, I think I marked it. There you Okay, hard six. Okay, now we're gonna press that up again. So we're gonna take it to uh, 24. So we're gonna press it up two units and he's gonna give us two dollars change. So we want two bucks off of that. And we're gonna take it to 24. Okay, we're, we're about one throw away from getting that back to 30 and then reducing it back down again, see, so. Concentrate on your throws, people. You gotta know. You're not in a hurry, you're not under pressure, man. Take your time with your throw. You know your rotation speed. You know your landing point. You know the height you're throwing at. Just repeat your throw. Okay, we threw short on that. We're lucky we didn't seven on that because the dice are waiting for you to screw up. Because they know you got control over. They want you to make a mistake and pounce on you and make you lose. All right, so now we made $9 off of that four. So we're going to give the dealer a dollar. We're going to tell him, take that up to 15. Okay, so we're going to press our four to 15. Okay. Right now we're using, uh, other than this five, everything we have, we're going full press 
press up. Full press. I've heard that name before. Six. There you go, man. Beautiful. Alright, now. We got $24 on that six, okay? We just won $28. So we got a total of 26 and, I mean, excuse me, 28 and 24 will be $52, okay? That's what we got on that. So we got two options here. We can go to 30, just press it to 30, and collect 20, $22, okay? Or we can go as high as 42 and collect 10. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to $42. I like that. So we're hitting them six a lot. So most likely we're going to hit that six again. And if we press the 42 and we hit it, we're going to win $48 off our bet. All right. So we're going to go $42. All right. And we're going to collect $10. Okay. Let's just go for it, you know what I mean? Where we got, you know, pretty close to 250 on there, so that's not bad. And this is our first throw, okay? Imagine we're going to do this at least one more time. Say we throw four, maybe five sessions, and we throw two of our throws like this. We could lose on our other three and win and throw two just like this and we'll go out a win with no problem at all. And win our money back to boot. All right, just remember, take your time with your throw, people. Go over your throw. You know your rotation. You, you know you want to you want to think out. You know you you know what your rotation speed is going to be by the motion that you're throwing. You feel of the hand. You know what you got. You know where your landing point is and you know your height. So that you go over it, then you launch. Okay, 10. Beautiful. Okay, again, like our four. We're going to give the dealer a dollar. We want nine dollars. And we're going to tell him to press it to 15. Okay, we're going to press that to 15. Okay, again, take your time, go over your throw. Okay, it's a little strong, that's okay, we hit a five. Boom, there's our point. Okay, we've got to move our quarter back here. We should have had it down here for odds bet. Okay, so there's our five. All right, now we're gonna win five bucks off our pass line, and we're gonna win, I believe, 35 off our odds bet. I'm not real good at odds bet. I know people are going to correct me on this, but there you go. So we just won $40. Okay. All right, little win. Okay. Now we're going to put our quarter back on our five and we're going to do our come out throw. Again, I'm going to work it. All right, so we're working this come out throw. I mean, the worst that can happen to me is I lose my bet, but I'm still throwing. You don't lose your turn, you just lose your bet. But I know my throw. Maintain my throw, no problem, people. No problem at all. Six. Boom. What a hit. See, if I if I would have set this one out, nothing. 
Instead, I want $48, man. That's how I roll. Bam. All right, so we hit our six as our point. Okay, now, because we worked it, we're gonna win $48. Okay, I'm gonna give the dealer two bucks and get 50. All right, now, I got $42 up for, I'm gonna tell the dealer, take me down to $6. Guess what I win? Another $36. That gives me 75, 80, $86 win on that throw. Yes. That's how you win the money, people. Bam. All right. Taking it up. Taking it down. I'm ready to pull this bet almost. Get all my money. And get out of town. Okay, again. I'm going to take my time with my throw. I know what my rotation speed is. I know my landing point. I know my height. And I launch. Okay, it's going to be a two. Oh, by the way, two people. This is an extra bonus. We get a small also during the game. We're paying attention to it. But, you know, it's a little bit of bonus money. I probably had a couple bucks on it. So there's another 70 bucks that's going to be put up here on my rack. Maybe I had a five on it, motherfucker, because I knew I can hit that. Five bucks. That's, that's a hundred and, what, 175? Or no, it's uh, 35 times. Yeah, it's 175 bucks. Bam. There you go. Okay, do that short, seven down. Do it wrong. That dice hit right here. That was one to crash the wall. This is the pass line. Do it wrong, seven down. Only you can make a seven come up, people. But there you go. There's our throw. Beautiful throw. Nice little throw from the back. You can't beat that from the back, people. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. See, we wanted about 20 throws so we can show how to bet. Now, you've seen how to press up, press back down. You could have pulled your bet at any time. Um, we didn't really lose a whole lot because of our reduction down. So we only had 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 88, $89. That's not a whole lot of money. We only started with 72, so we didn't really lose a lot of our money. We collected it all by taking it back down. So, not a big loss. That's not bad. Now, what did we win? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's um, one, two, three, four, it's a hundred, a uh, hundred and uh, fifty, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's a hundred sixty nine there, and then in green chips, we got two hundred twenty five. So there you go, we got one hundred sixty nine, two sixty nine. 369 plus 25, uh, three, all right, 369 plus 25 would be 394, 394, almost $400 we want off one hand, okay, I'm going home, man, 
Color me out, baby. Give me four black chips. I'm out the door. You know what I mean? That's a good win for me. That's all I want. Shit. All right, so hope we got the show. To, you know, the main thing was just, you know, showing the press up. I'll quit fucking around here. Just showing how to press your bets up, reduce them back down, press them back up. We did a good example with that six. Started off with $18, brought it to 30, took it back down to six, brought it back to 42, took it back down to six. You know, so that's how you do it. Just up and down with all these numbers, man. And uh, we did it with 10 to four. We got to bring them up and down. So I hope that helps you out on seeing how to bet. You know, get it down packed. Use it with the good, use it with this six, you know, this all 10 4 set from the back. Six five four five, what the set was, people. Okay, six and four on top, five's looking at you. It's a good set to use from the back. I've been throwing it back here for a while. Um, been averaging around 15 to 20 throws with it. You know, we got 22 on this one. Uh, good little throw. So let me get to hurry and get off here because I know we're probably getting close to this. Uh, Record running out on me, man. So nice little throw. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching Dice are in your hands